Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Chicago at Snowflake World Tour where I'm now delighted to be joined by Mike Galvin, co-founder and managing director at One6, along with Ryan Lewis, senior manager at One6. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to be with both of you here today. Great Thanks. to be here. Yeah, great to be here. Mike, at One6, you specialize in leveraging data in AI to address clients' business challenges. With regards to your ecosystem of customers, what trends are emerging and how is the team adapting to meet their evolving needs? I think there's a lot of trends uh, that we're addressing today. One of the biggest is that automation is key, right? I used to jokingly say that 10 years ago, companies like us used to make a lot of money hand coding and writing integration layers. Well, there's just a lot of tools in the market today that will enable our clients to automate that, make it faster and easier to start consuming data for business use cases. It's a huge trend, right? And we're getting out of the business of moving data, but more into the business of driving business value with that data. Mike, great insights. Thank you so much. Ryan, as a full service data and AI consulting firm, you have a heavy focus on helping businesses build the strategy technology in teams. They need to innovate and grow. How does the AI data cloud's ease of use make this a reality? So I think there's a few things in Snowflake that, that make it such a delight to use, right? So, Data teams can spend their time focusing on building value from their data uh, instead of spending a lot of time with the infrastructure, right? So they don't have to go get the IT team involved to spin up servers. They don't, you don't have to spend any time thinking about hardware, right? Uh, Snowflake, some of the new stuff, right? Container services, you're able to build applications directly on Snowflake. And I think that security is another huge thing uh, that a client's are, are very particular about, right? Like data is an asset and, and security is key to protecting that asset. And so if all your data is in Snowflake and all of your applications are on Snowflake, then there's no egress. You don't have to think about data leaving your environment. Great to hear, it's very much a win-win on, on both sides, Ryan. Mike, I have to say, I love getting the opportunity to sit down with founders and one six dates back over a decade how do your founding principles still directly impact how you lead the company today? And how are you building the team around you to position the business for long-term success? So there's a couple of uh, interesting founding principles, right? One was uh, we started this business by making a list of what we thought really stunk about other consulting firms. <laughs> and we said, let's not do that, right? So it was almost the anti-consulting firm to start. And I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of bad kind of reps that some firms get because they're not transparent with clients. They're not transparent with their teams. And I think over time that starts to show, right? And people lose great people, right? Companies lose great people. They don't stick around because you're getting a lack of transparency. So we've always been about transparency, right? With our teams and clients. And then we're always taking a business focused angle to the work we're doing, right? Technology for the sake of technology, you can spend a lot of money doing that that doesn't provide a lot of value. So when we're looking at solving a problem, it's generally about who in finance has some problem with data, right? Or is the marketing team able to measure ROI on that campaign? And how do we then hamster wheel under the covers is reverse engineering the technology to support those, uh, those problems. So I think for us, continuing to focus on that is gonna to continue to build the business, have people that stay and enjoy working with clients and have happy clients for a long time. Thank you for that, Mike. Ryan, the question that remains on everyone's mind is AI and the impact it's having across the marketplace. What advice would you like to give to those watching on how to properly harness its full potential? So as Mike was talking about, at one we we're focused on business solutions. And so AI is a tool to solve problems. And I think that it's key for folks to spend a lot of time up front defining their problems and how AI is going to solve those problems. Um, and understanding which problems can be solved with AI and machine learning and which problems can be solved with reporting and dashboarding and, and, and other methods to solve the various problems. The other thing that I would think about is um, to treat your AI projects like software engineering projects. And for software engineering projects, you have a definition of, of your problem and then you race to a minimum viable product. And then once you get there, you learn a lot about what your problem is and then what's working, what isn't, and so you have the opportunity to adjust for, you know, V2. Uh, the other thing that I think is key for AI projects is that AI is built on data, right? And so these techniques uh, require really good data, and so spending time working with your data engineering team 
and building a solid foundation is what allows you to, you know, take the cherry on top of using machine learning and AI and things like that. Very much, you don't have an AI strategy without a data strategy. That's right, and, and each one informs each other, right? So figuring out what you want to do with machine learning and AI informs what kind of data you need and what kind of infrastructure you need to build there. And then also what you've built informs what kind of AI and machine learning projects you can do. Great perspective. Gentlemen, it's been such a pleasure having you both on the program. Before we wrap, what's next for 1.6? Mike, let's start with you. We talk about this all the time with clients. Clients are in a position of like, where do we start? How do you help me understand what the capabilities are? How do I get my team trained? So a lot of workshops are what we're actually working with clients on today to educate them on AI, to educate them on modern data platforms. And what can you use Snowflake to do in the business? So I think what we're gonna probably do is you'll see a lot more accelerators, a lot more industry-centric solutions built on top of Snowflake because it helps us build faster and get to value faster. Mike, thank you so much for those insights and perspective. And Ryan, such a pleasure having you on the program. It's all happening here in Chicago at Snowflake World Tour. Thank you again for joining us. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.